hide in this lab, we will use the CLI commands to verify the operation of an existing OSPF v2 network. And here, the existing OSPF network. And in part two, we will add a new LAN to the configuration and verify the connectivity. And here is a new LAN. We will add and, and connect to the existing network and verify the connectivity from the laptop to other end devices and to the ISP network. Uh, for more detail, our task is to verify the operation of the existing OSPF v2 network before adding the new LAN. When we are sure that the current OSPF v2 LAN is operating correctly, we will connect the new LAN and verify that OSPF routes are being propagated for the new LAN. As a branch office network administrator, we will have full access to iOS on Router 3 and Router 4. And we only have read access to the enterprise LAN routers, Router 1 and Router 2. And here's the username and the password for the uh, branch uh, routers. Uh, on part one, we will verify the existing OSPF v2 network operation. Step one, verify OSPF v2 operation. So now we log into router one. Branch admin with the password of branch one two three four branch admin. We can copy and paste here and the password one two three four. And then we show IP route. And here's the routing table on router one. And we answer some question. The first one: How did router one receive the default route? And here, the default route. This uh, route it get to from the uh, this uh, IP address and this IP address is of the router 2 so uh, the router 1 receives the default route from router 2 and the router 1 receives it through the uh, OSPF uh, propagating method so the next question is, uh, how can we filter the output of show IP route to show only the routes learned through OSPF? So we show IP route OSPF. So here, the own the routes that's learned from OSPF protocol. The next, uh, we show IP OSPF neighbor. And we have three neighbor the first one and the ID and the ID of the second uh, and we can see the IP address of the first one uh, one two nine one six eight ten and six one two nine ten and six. So it's router three. And since the second neighbor, the IP address, this IP is of router two. So router one has two neighbors, router three and router two. Now we uh, should ping from PC one to the ISP. I will ping uh, this IP address 
and we get the reply from the ISP router okay so the existing OSBF v2 network is operating correctly now we move on to step 2 verify OSBF v2 operation on router 2 Then we show the IP table, routing table, show, and router to. And answer the question, how did router to learn the default route to the ISP? And here is the default route. It's a static default. And this route is manually configured on router 2 now we show ip ospf interface gigabit 0 slash 0 now we will answer what types of ospf network attack to this interface so the network ties broadcast are OSPF hello packets being sent out the interface and it's plain and we can see we have the passive interface so no hello message sent to this interface or, or no hello message sent out the interface Now on PC2, we ping the ZIT interface on router 3. Now I get the IP address on router 3. And I copy it, copy on PC2. Oh, sorry. Ping. So it's successful. Next, we move on to step three: verify OSPF v2 operation on router three. We do the similar steps on this uh, router. Firstly, we show IP protocol. Show IP and answer the question. Router three is routing for which network? Router three is routing for uh, three network. Network uh, one two nine one six eight. 1.0, 10.4, and 10.8, and uh, this is uh, a uh, subnet mask, and the area zero. And next, we will show IP protocol neighbor detail command on router three, and examine the neighbor priority for the OSPF neighbor routers. Show. OSPF neighbor detail the uh, router to neighbor with the priority zero and for router one the priority zero because we have the topology of point to point OSPF network, not the broadcast network. So the, the, the priority value is 
the default. Now on PC3, we ping the address of the ISP router, PC3. And it's successful. Now we move on to part two, add the new branch of FitLAN to the OSPF V2 network. And here we have the new LAN. We uh, uh, should add to the existing network. Firstly, we will verify OSPF v2 configuration on router 4. So run and we filter using begin router OSPF to uh, check for the OSPF configuration on router 4 and here the router is at 10 router ID uh, and routing for two network 1 and 11 and let's have a look uh, 1 is the network between the access point and router 4 and 11 is the Network between access point and the laptop. Maybe. Oh no. Sorry. The network. Now we have to connect the router 4 to C3. So the network 1 means uh, routing for this network, the LAN network on router 3. And from router 4 to the laptop is uh, network 11. Yeah. And uh, the question which interface is config not the send OSPF update packet. So let's examine the passive interface gigabit 00 slot 1 on router 4. And here's the gigabit 0, uh, sorry, uh, 0 slot 0 slot 1. So let's have a look uh, for detail. 00 slot 1. 00 slot here. The, the LAN uh, network of router uh, 4. Uh, now we connect uh, the gigabit Ethernet 000 on router 4 to the gigabit 0 slot 1 interface on suite S3. We will use a copper strip tool and from this one to the gigabit zero slot one on the switch. And then we show IP OSPF neighbor to verify router 4 at agent with router 3. And I click on the fast forward time and click on. And here we have the CLOG message process 10. Neighbor uh, router three, uh, it's discover had just discovered the the neighbor uh, router three on this the gigabit we have just uh, connect. Now we enter the command show IP OSPF neighbor, and we can see the neighbor. Uh, of router 4 is router 3. Now we move on to router 3 and check for the neighbor show IP OSPF neighbor. And here router 3 have three neighbor 1, 2, and 4. And let's examine the state column. The neighbor uh, the router 4 has the state full and media uh, backup designated router but the router 2 and router 1 has no uh, or different state because router 3 uh, connect to router 4 in the broadcast network and router 2 and router 1 only have point to point network so it uh, they do not form the media and uh, DR 
uh, election process. So on this network, we have the uh, broadcast network uh, and router three and router three. Uh, it's a BDR. Sorry, router three is a DR and router four is a BDR or backup design the router. And now I uh, will use a command from the laptop and ping address of PC2. So it's successful. So that is all for this lab activity. Thanks for watching.